Alright, in this video right here, we're going to talk about bulletproofing your lawn curve pavements and things I've implemented in my fifth season now, but this has been the first season I've been able to get about 95% of my pavements on time. I changed my whole policy and my whole system. Now, if you can't collect your pavements, you'll be out of business fast because it costs every day to run operations on a daily and uh, on top of maintaining your regular life. Your business is here to make money. That's just what it is. And before I started my business, I thought the only way to collect money from a customer was by just getting cash left somewhere in a barbecue grill or under a mat somewhere or somebody leaving a check. That's the only thing I thought. Or it might just be somebody who calls me finally talking about, hey, I'm home finally, you can come by and get your money. So I believe that's how we all start. That's what we all do until we know better, but you gotta find a better way. And you have to be able to get those payments and take care of what you gotta take care of so you can grow and you can be able to maintain your life and you got in business to do better than average. So, first thing, your worst payers are gonna be commercial contracts. With commercial contracts, you're gonna be waiting 30 days and that's, that's doing good. You're gonna be waiting 30 to 60 days to get those payments. That's just what it is with commercial contracts. So, if you don't want to be waiting on payments, you want to get your payments on time, stay away from commercial. Maybe later on you get to growing, you can wait a little bit for those payments to come in because it's kind of good to have it when money ain't coming in, then you can go commercial. But stay away from commercial. Number two, which should actually be number one, which I feel like is my most important and been the biggest game changer for me, card on file. Everybody has to have a card on file with me. Now, if you don't trust a person, because I've had people uh, cards uh, decline, which I say it's about a 95% rate, but you can always charge the card before you even step foot on the yard just to make sure you're going to get that payment if you want to take it there like that. But what I usually do, I put a card on file. I go ahead and take care of the yard. Uh, if it declines, send them a message. They pay it. I let them know, hey, you got to have a good card on file. Uh... I give them one more time. If that card declines again, then the client has to pay me up front or prepay for those cuts. And if not, then I'm sorry. I just can't can't be a client no more. I got to have customers that pay on time. And that's, you know, it's just business. And it's the cost of doing business. And uh, I thought that I couldn't do it until I did it. I had somebody's card decline twice. I told them, I said, hey, at this point, you can start prepaying for the cuts or you could pay up for the season. Well, they told me they was going to pay up for the season. Told me come by next Friday. Next Friday, they gave me 800 cash, which is 50 a cut bi-weekly. And uh, we'll discuss bi-weekly. I'm not going to be doing those next year. And I'll do a video about why. But number three, get weekly customers. Weekly customers tend to care about their yard more. They tend to actually pay on time more, in my experience. And they want you there when you say you're going to be there. These people will actually pay, in my experience. I hadn't had any weekly customers that are uh, serious about the yard that miss payments. They just want the yard done. They don't have time to be there. If they could, they probably would do it, but they want you to be there. And uh, if you could try to get weekly customers, you'll have a better success rate of getting those payments. Also, this is an option. Some people say they don't do it, but guys, I've had people do it, and it works. Offer prepay. They can pay up. They pay up a certain amount. You can knock off a percent if you want to, or you can say no discount. But guys, you run this how you run it. And with me, that's where I'm at with it now. Prepayments, if you want it like that, I could set it like that. If not, it's fine. Just make sure those payments are on time. And the next thing you have to do, if you really want to get your prices and get your money and make sure your money's coming on time, is raise your prices. Guys, raise your prices. And you need to raise your prices anyway because everything I was buying in year one, Man, it's probably up 30% now in year five. 
And that's just what, what it is. And also, if you want to hire somebody, you can't hire nobody and you got low rate on your yard. Because now when you bring somebody in to hire, your money's going to the employee. And you may stay in business, but you won't be profitable. you just be paying your employee. You'll be uh, having to handle and take care of business stuff. And you won't make anything. I mean, and that's not messed up, but that's fine if you got the bigger picture and go. Because say if you do hire a customer, I mean, not a customer, if you do a hire employee, you get him on, uh, and he can work about 80, 90% of what you do a day. You get these customers on file like this, you can bulletproof these payments. It'll pay off. So, those are my five things. And uh, like I said, the five things I do is Stay away from commercial customers if you don't want to get paid uh, when you see fit. Keep a card on file for all your customers. Switch over to weekly customers as soon as you can and get away from bi-weekly. It's just, it's more profitable, it's just better, and it's easier on you also. Number four, offer prepayments. And you can offer prepayments with a discount, and you'll be surprised people that'll pay but you're gonna to have to show up. And number five, raise your prices. I believe you do all this, this could really help you bulletproof those payments, it could really help you get your money on time, and it could really help you grow a little quicker than I did. Now if I knew this, I'm in year five right now, but say if I could cut a cot on to all this in year three, then you know, year five, we'd be talking some whole different stuff right now. So guys, get out here, do what you got to do. Those are my five things. You bulletproof the payments. Drop some stuff on what you do, on how you get your payments, or how you receive your payments so we can share it back. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, man, and uh, watch the rest of the video. We got this yard cleaned up real nice. This was a yard that started off as bi-weekly, and the bi-weekly ended up turning into a weekly yard. So I didn't offer it. I was going to keep her on bi-weekly. I just had something in mind. I was going to switch next year. She called me. She said, I hate the way the yard is growing so fast. Could you switch me over to weekly? So, guys, get out here. It can happen. And uh, wish you the best.